my name is Lynn. Welcome to my goat shed life, where I live in what used to be an abandoned old goat shed, leaving people to wonder, what in the world is that crazy lady up to now? Months after having harvested these red curry squash, I still have a box full of them. What are we gonna do with them? First of all, let's see if I can pick the box up. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> there you have it. <clears throat> These squash are actually what's called a winter squash or keeper squash. These are those red curries. And their color seems to deepen the longer that you keep them. This guy looks like maybe he started to get a little moldy on top. And what I wanted to do was harvest some seeds out of some of these and also cook some in the instant pot and put them away with the seal of meal. Oh my, we got a Mushy spot starting there because that one guy down in here that did not want to cooperate. Don't know if I can harvest any seeds out of those or not. These were plucked probably back in June and July. So they're holding up pretty good actually. I got a bunch of them and that's it. That's all. <laughs> yeah, that's all. The first thing that I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the ones that have really kind of started to get squishy and to grow mold on them and see at least if I can harvest some seeds out of these. Hey, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and become a shed head. Hit that little bell dingling so you get notifications of my future antics. We have a really good time here at the goat shed. This is the one that I think absolutely looks the very worst. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut him in half. Let's see. Oh, the seeds are beautiful. I'm gonna take a bowl. Yeehaw. See, we got a soft spot there. So we are not gonna eat these. We are going to share these with the chicken. This guy is meshy, but doesn't have any open wounds, I guess one might say. We can probably go ahead and cook this one. It still smells good. We have a bazillion seeds, y'all. This one and this one gonna save these and see how long they go before they start to get funky you guys don't have to worry about experimenting with this stuff i do it for you today i also want to do this big fella here <sighs> come on buddy all right yay yes we need another bowl i should be doing this from the other side i'm left-handed so i kind of do things backwards i'm flinging seeds everywhere these would be great just cut them in half and you could stuff put some kind of stuffing in them Prop maybe make some bread stuffing with some mushrooms and onions in it and bake it in the oven that would probably be really really yummy those seeds are just beautiful look at those aren't those amazing and if anybody wants to try to grow some red curry squash in the spring, if you'll hit me up on email, which you can find on my about page, I will be happy to mail you some seeds. So you can grow red curry squash too. It makes an impressive plant. What I think I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut this little stem off back here, is go ahead and cut him up into a few slices. I'm gonna peel all of these pieces and prep them. I'll be back. In the interest of time, I've been peeling squash for like the last um, six and a half years here. My hand is pretty orange from peeling the squash. I didn't wanna bore you guys with the whole squash peeling. Uh, we have 17 hours of squash peeling. No, we weren't gonna do that. Almost done. And my goal, my goal is to I forgot what my goal is. Oh, my goal is to actually get cook these enough to where they're like a puree and I will bag them up with a seal meal, like a cup or two cups of puree and have it available in the freezer. So I want it prepared in such a way that it could make soup or a casserole. Maybe use this in lieu of a sweet potato casserole or maybe even a pie. A pie might be good. So I think I did two small ones and then one a large one. And I have quite a bit of red curry squash to cook up. I'm feeling like I'm scaring y'all, like I'm a small child with a knife, which I may very well be like a small child with a knife. 
okay, that has it. I'm gonna wash them up. Even after I possibly have more than an entire Instapot full, I have put two in the box and I still have one, two, three, four. Be cool if I could juggle, wouldn't it? That makes six, because I stuck two in the box earlier. Seven, eight. If any of you guys know a better way to keep them than just throwing them in an old nasty box, please leave me a comment down in the comment section. I got the Instapot out. It should be done. I cooked it on high pressure for 13 minutes. Now we're going to vent it. I have to tell you guys, that smells pretty good. The instant pot, you want to wait until that little silver button right there drops down. And that means that all the pressure has been released. And the button fell. Ready? Okay. Isn't that a beautiful color? This is going to make the nicest soup. Oh, my. Yes. That makes me so happy. Now, in order to get it to cool a little more quickly, we're going to take it out and set it inside this bowl. Once this cools down completely, we'll be able to put it into little seal mill packages. The squash is now all cooled off, and I have gotten out. I didn't buy this one either, though. We're going to put some of this in some seal mill bag and be able to freeze it. And I'm going to keep some out because my intention is to make some soup. Every time that I use this thing, it's like I have to re-figure out how to use it. There is already a seal on the bottom of the bag. And I guess what I need to do, figure out where to cut it. Ta-da! So far, so good. The seal mill bag. Hopefully, this won't be a big mess. And the squash is nice and mushy. There's one cup. That is two cups. Two cups of red curry squash. What is wrong with you? Why are you doing this to me? Hey, two cups. This bag is just a little bit over one cup and I've set one cup aside. Red curry squash is really something else. I'm gonna leave a link up here where you can watch the videos on first time I cooked red curry squash and growing red curry squash. See you guys.